Look, firstly, we learn that early detection is very key to breaking a chain of transmission. So when contact tracing is employed earlier on during any outbreak, it's easy to break the chain of transmission and help to evolve more women in health system. So that's one. And then contact tracing cannot be done in isolation of other interventions. Because if you contact trace and you determine your case, you need to go to the next level. So there are other strategies that should be employed together. So you need to have a strong referral pathway in place to be able to refer patients safely to the treatment units. You know how rapid testing can possibly to be able to confirm cases or to diagnose them to be able to ensure that if someone has a virus, they are quickly taken away and treated. And those who were just suspected, maybe they have other conditions to take them back into other health facilities for treatment. So those facilities have to be in place. I know that it's important to wear masks and to keep social distancing and to do really anything to protect yourself against COVID-19. But is there anything that individuals can do to help contact tracers? For example, would it make any sense for me to carry around a notebook uh, with names of people that I came in contact with just in case I get sick? Would that make any sense? Is there anything else that individuals could do? Yes, because our ability to contact, to contact trace depends on the information we get you know, from the patient, right? So if the patient cannot remember to tell us who or they came in contact with, you know, that would be a missed opportunity. So, Individuals also have a part to play. Like you, you can document like your interactions with people and try to write them down and try to remember who you came in contact with, where did you go, so follow up can be done. So those are really the yeah, individual level um, support that we can also get for people who from from like potential cases also to help to really like, track people who have come in contact with, with them and support us in ways that we can engage into so we can be monitored. What would your advice be, you know, to countries that don't have the infrastructure, as you spoke about? So, uh, first and foremost, to invest in prevention activities, the like risk communications. So that's why the risk communication pillar on the, the incident management system is very important. Ensure that we do awareness and make sure we communicate the risk around the ways in which the virus is transmitted. So social distancing, wearing of masks, and all those things to make sure that we have the measures in place. But we see that we are still doing the, carrying on the risk communication information, but we see increasing cases. So what can we do? Then this is where we need to ensure that we are detecting earlier. So contact tracing is going to come in, community engagement is going to come in here. And working with community members. We don't need to have sophisticated or like medical professionals that we need to have so much resource to recruit. But like I said, community members can be recruited and they can be empowered in a way that they can serve their community at the same time and also respond in a way that will be timely.